Hey folks, uh, welcome to this short introduction to Gouda Audio's Enveloper and how to use it within Logic X. We've just got a few uh, simple loops running and what we're going to do is put the synth chords here uh, through Enveloper and just experiment with some of the filters and the envelope shapes on offer. So first of all, we are creating uh, a new instrument channel but we're not adding an instrument as such. We are going down to the AU MIDI controlled effects where you should find Enveloper under Gouda Audio. So we've created a stereo instance of Enveloper and we'll just start by uh, just turning off the amp envelope here and switching to the filter envelope. Now what we're doing here is just switching the instrument track to no output because we only want to hear the affected sound that's being rooted into Enveloper. And as you can see, we can do this via the side chain input. So there, we've got some signal which shows that the audio from our chord channel, our instrument channel is being rooted in. And after that, we'll simply copy the MIDI notes down to the envelope channel, which will trigger our filter envelope. Note that trigger mode here is set to note trigger one shot in this case. Now an experiment with the filter cutoff. Selected a new filter shape here, that's the sort of classic uh, synth pluck sound. We can add new nodes to the envelope. And we can adjust the curve of those nodes. and double click to delete the nodes. And cycle through different filter types. All the usual kind of suspects, high pass, low pass, band pass. Now switching on the amp envelope here, which is giving us that classic side chain sound. I'm just going to add some more excitement with some effects. Note the differences in trigger modes here. Host synced for the amp envelope and note trigger one shot for the filter. That means the amp envelope is moving with the host's tempo rather than being triggered by a MIDI note. To add a bit more excitement to the sound here, I'm just gonna use the multiband pan. We're just uh, resetting the shapes on the low and the mid bands because we only want to uh, add some movement to the highs here. can adjust the band like so. And add some nice panning just to the high frequencies there and the high mids.
And that about wraps things up. Thanks for watching, folks.